Let's see if we can't bother Roger on a little bit of jade history. How's it going, man? My personal favorite gem deal, gem, jade dealer anywhere. I love Roger. Hit him up for any of your jade needs. Anything. He doesn't just do Yukon. This gentleman can find you anything. I believe this gentleman supplies the material for the Jade Symposium in Canada, right? Yeah, you can. There's one of them. This is one of the boxes. Wow. This is the size you get at the Jade Symposium. So the Jade Symposium in Canada is a competition, I believe, right? That could be the and it was a competition for carving. I don't. It was a friendly competition, right? Everyone got in the catalog. Fantastic. Raj had a couple of pieces gifted back to him. Oh wow! That's love, right there. I'm David. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, man. Some more beautiful cat and night and jade right there. That's fantastic. Man. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. Too late turning. There's Siberian jade, blued steel, Damascus steel. And then opens up. Jade washers. Now you made this yourself? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And it's relatory for the Wicked Witch of the West. And if you look at the little finial right here, right up here, the tip. Oh. And you see the little witch on her broomstick. Natural inclusion, or natural in the jade. Man, that's beautiful work. This is, this is dinosaur bone. Okay, and black jade, gold. The Balinese carved walrus ivory. And then when I open it, there's a Canyon Diablo meteorite because meteorites killed the dinosaurs. Interesting combination. Yeah, paleo perfume bottle. <laughs> this is some of the neatest stuff I've seen all day. Thank you. What is this right here? Tom? Yeah, that's me. Tom Finner and Thanks, Tom. Very. Is that you, Roger? Boy, you looking great. You look great now, but this you look like a country western movie star. I wouldn't want to cross you on the Yukon. Come over here, check out some of these pictures. Lucky enough to be able to see these. Wow. This is Roger's old drop saw in the Yukon. Who made that saw? My brother. Oh, so it's a home fabrication. What? Is it still around? Yeah, Even it's still around. I'm on my third generation now. I've got a real nice saw on here. Beautiful pictures of the Yukon. Look at that truck. That's a truck right there. It is. It's like an international scout. It's a, actually a Toyota. Oh. Land Cruiser. This is my newer improved saw. My third generation Honda Power. I could put the wheels on it and the tongue and take it to the rock, or I usually set it on a foundation, and then I have a cut table that, that moves side to side. How big is that blade right there? It's a three foot. Ooh. Ow.
36. It's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to getting? Well, you know, cable or something because, you know, it can only cut about 14 inches deep and it's just, this is a gold dredging operation I was on back in the old days. I'll never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> what is this tank-like thing? Uh, that's called an Argo. And they're eight-wheel drive machine that, uh, they're amphibious, they go land and water. These are fantastic, Roger. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, see if we get another. Oh, there's that machine. The Argo. Are these street legal? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember seeing these before. Yeah. yeah. They're not street legal, but they'll go. Um, they haul a thousand pounds and tow a thousand pounds. I remember when these came out back in like the late '80s, mid '80s, or something like that. And they still break down, even the new ones. <laughs> Do you, so 2,000 pounds you can get out? Yeah, I mean, and and um, some other pictures in the book, we would use a tripod to raise them up and then put the trailer on her and drop them down and haul them down the mountain. I guess that's right here. See, we raise them up and put the trailer in there, pump the tires up, and away you go. Right down the mountain. Fantastic. I figured, um, we figured um, one Argo we had, we put 10,000 bush miles on it. Wow. Over some years, you know. Bush miles feel a lot longer than road miles. <laughs> what is this saw right here? Another saw. Uh, that's my brother's saw there, actually. Same thing. And then just some people who have come around and visit and stuff. This is a little more modern book here. <laughs> the claim on top of the mountain above the valley. This is my claim post here. So that's the mine site. The jade here, in between the serpentine and this white rock, there was a wall of jade right here. Here we're hand mining. Cool man, thanks for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome. Cool. cool to have a look into the behind the scenes. No, just little blades. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's for making some real tokies right there. Ever since Aquaman, those J tokens are all One of their miners, a Russian gentleman named Sergei, really kind guy. I'm lucky enough to live in New Mexico and very familiar with Southwest Silver. I buy a lot of my castings from Southwest Silver. 
fantastic. Uh, getting now because we're mostly wholesale. We really don't do it that time. We do it at the retail point. That is, but if you... Some wholesale Indian style jewelry, East Indian style jewelry. Fantastic. Some of the best sculptures come out of Africa during the Tucson Jimmy Manuel show. I love these hippos. Look even better when you got a little bit of water in there. Comfy. Let me get one of you in there. Ta -da. You need one of these in your condo. Yeah. That would look great with my other turquoise inlaid furniture in my condo. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for Hans Lapidary out of China. Sometimes some of the vendors will actually sell the rest of their booth for the rest of the show if they weren't doing so good or if they sold out. I believe the Hans gentleman from Hans Lapidary actually sold out this year. That is a thing. Besides being fantastic. Uh, an abstract bronze sculpture. Reminds me of some type of nut. The galactic nut. Is that? Look at this orthoceros handle. I? Fantastic. Diatonic accordion player. This 
this man is a one man gem show. You could have patented that yourself, Danny. This gentleman earlier today he had a 1919 Hono accordion who was actually kind enough to let me play it. Yeah, I saw a video of you playing squeeze box. <laughs> that was actually last year's Tucson Gem and Mineral show. I was lucky enough to play with Mindfulness from Plainwell, Michigan. They were vending um, at the Michigan Hippie Garden. Some of my most favorite machines. In my opinion, the best hard wheel in the industry. I love Galaxies, but I love these Russian wheels. This is the trim and slab saw for me. Actually, I take the fence off of mine and I just do it by hand. It's absolutely fantastic. Love those. Now, now tell me, folks, how many people in the lapidary industry are kind enough to not even, not only let you know that you can do it with a tile saw, but provide one for you. Fantastic people. Bronca Diamond used to make a six wheel cabbing machine, very similar to the Genie, but they used a similar motor, which the motor factory discontinued their motors this year. I don't know if they're completely closed down, but I know that folks are looking for alternative uh, motors to run those machines. Genie already found, uh, well, Diamond Pacific already found their motor. I think Baranka's in the middle of looking for those. But um, I'm pretty sure Baranka is MK Diamond. MK Diamond's out of Canada. Love Baranka. in the showcase. My grandfather actually uses beans and rice in his showcase. This is nice, but the full protein is, is even better. Fantastic. Look at that. I wonder if that's made in Bali. Stunning. It's hard to get a good shot because the light's reflecting. That's beautiful. White rhino silver, if anyone's interested in those fantastic pieces. Amazing. How you ladies doing today? I'm doing fine. What are you doing today? Uh, we're filming for our YouTube channel, Lapidary Days YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we, we got a shot of your card so the audience can see. We like that. Yeah, I'm sure you'd appreciate that. White Rhino Silver. Yes. Some of the best in the He's world. He's a designer. Maybe we can get a word with that gentleman. He's a nice man. Thank you. You're a nice lady. I think the gentleman's a little busy and we'll come back a little bit later. Look at Sounds good. Well, that's what I was looking at. I would probably definitely have to charge more money to make that little a little piece like that than I would making a larger piece. That is impressive. Well, 